this colony's got a lane worker. It's obvious because of the drone cells, the drone that are in the worker comb. I'm going to install a new queen. And I'm going to use a pushing cage. There's my queen. She's in a California mini cage with the cork. I have a pushing cage here. I'll need to move the bees. I want to move all the bees off in case they decide that their lane worker is good enough. Okay, here's how it works. I've got my pushing cage And I've got my queen cage. I need to take the cork out. So she'll be released in here. She has some honey in case they don't feed her right away. Uh, and she has some empty cells to lay in. So once she starts laying eggs, she'll smell a whole lot better to the other bees. They'll be more likely to accept her, less likely to reject the new queen because they think they already have one. All right, we're gonna try this. This is what I've been recommending to many of our customers. I'm trying it here for sure so we can give you a video and a report on how it works. There's the queen coming out of the cage. She stopped to pick up some honey right first thing she did. She's marked so we'll know if it's her, if she's doing okay after we've taken the cage off in a couple of days. All right, a few days later, I'm gonna check on this queen that's in the queen cage. See if she's laying eggs, see if they've accepted her. See how things are going. Okay, there's more bees in there. They found their way in. They've chewed underneath or around. Now it looks like the queen's still in there. There she is, and there's a bunch of eggs in those cells. She didn't have room to lay eggs in any more cells, so she repeated herself. That's the best way I know of to get a queen accepted into a colony that has a lane worker.